Hello, my name is Carson Stewart, and this presentation will focus on the material trimethylopropane triacetylate, also referred to as TMPTA. This will deal specifically with its inclusion of emulsion templating and stereolithographic printing, otherwise known as SL printing. The title of my paper is Hierarchically Porous Materials from Layer by Layer Photopolymerization of High Internal Phase Emulsions. This paper can be found in the Macromolecular Journal of Volume 34 was published in 2013. The specific scope of study for this paper is to combine the techniques of emulsion templating and out of the manufacturing to provide an improved technique for the generation of four or more levels of porosity within a polyhype material. Emulsion templating is a method, a method in which a highly viscous paste-like emulsion defined as having more than 74% of the volume as dispersed droplets within a continuous external phase. If the external phase is made of a monomer, Polyhypes are produced when the emulsion is exposed to high temperatures in a process known as thermal polymerization. This paper seeks to use an emulsion formulation of TMPTA as the feedstock for an SL printer and see if multi levels of porosity can be produced. The key question is what phase content of TMPTA formulation will be compatible with SL printing? Each formulation tested was first tested using the standard thermopolymerization technique before moving to SL polymerization. Each trial contained various phase content with the monomer TMPTA being a constant. Different initiators, initiators were tested and used as cross-linkers for the monomer. Different surfactants were tested to help reduce the surface tension of the formulation. A UV light absorber was added to reduce the penetration depth of the SL light and improve final resolution, resolutions. Various percentage of the diluter toluene were also added to help reduce the overall viscosity of the formulation. This slide shows a diagram of the combination of emulsion templating and SL printing. A diluted emulsion is prepared on the top left by mixing an internal phase into a continuous external phase, TMPTA in this research. The emulsion is then transferred to an SL printer. An LED light source provides energy to the emulsion and creates a layer by layer part with high porosity. Post-manufacturing cleaning of the part is usually conducted, but not shown here in this diagram. The phase content was the main process condition examined in this paper. Multiple trials were conducted testing various materials in the overall formulations. Each part was printed using a rectangular block and was characterized by the shown dimensions. The porosity of the part was characterized by a scanning electron microscopy. This slide shows the first two trials, A1 and A2. Water and oil was used as an initiator for A1 and PEL-121 as a surfactant. This trial shows significant globular structures. A2 replaced the water and oil with AIBN. This change showed more typical morph morphological features, but the pores were still, were still not uniform. Trial A3 added span 65 as an additional surfactant and produced smaller size morphological features than A2. The B trials were polymerized using UV radiation to better prepare the formulation for SL printing. B1 replaced AIBN as the initiator with the photo initiator Ergocure 819. B2 added 20% by volume of toluene to the formula formulation to reduce the viscosity from 12.8 pa pascals per second to 11.04 pascals per second since the layer by layer process of SL printing can be sensitive to viscosity. B3 increased the volume of toluene to 50% by volume to reduce the viscosity to 4.90 pascal seconds. B4 replaced Ergo Q819 as the photo initiator with ivoserin, which better absorbs the LED light source than Ergo Q819 did. Tenuvin Carbo Protect was added to limit the penetration depth of the light and therefore improve the final resolution. B4 was used as the final formulation. It produced cavity diameters of 3.6 micrometers and interconnecting pore diameters of 1.5 micrometers. For the summary, the use of the formulation with TMPTA, Ivosarin, Tenuvin Carboprotect, and Toluene resulted in a successful printing of stable 3D structures. After internal morphology of the printing structures was scanned, it was found that the printing did not significantly affect the polyhype morphology. The final part produced porosities of approximately 95%, but were found to be surprisingly mechanically stable and manageable for normal handling. I personally found that the research report was very thorough and systematic in its approach to finding the optimal formulation for SL printing. I found that this combined technique presents new options in the field of hierarchically porous polymer preparation.